what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel hope you're all doing good i've got a brand new drift tune for you guys it's for the arena this car was requested so if you guys would like to request any other cars to be retuned or if you want a brand new tune for you know either 90s adhesion or 100 adhesion let me know in the comments and i will be sure to make a video and if you guys would like to join up on the discord there will be a link in the description below so let's hop into this we're going to be starting off with the ultimate mod if you don't have it you're just gonna to have to grind up for it and unlock it that way you can get everything unlocked in the dino stand i am using a stock body kit and then i just swapped out um, some parts so uh, you know you can do as you please for this so let's get into the dino stand i'll show you guys the code and then i have some clips that you guys can watch of me drifting in this car and you know you can see how it is in action so we're going to start off with the suspension for the stiffness. Um, this car is going to get some pretty good angle. It's going to feel, you know, a little loose when you're out there driving. So just be a little careful with that. I didn't want to make it too stiff. Lately, I've been trying to make uh, kind of like uh, some softer uh, setups for suspension. That way I can maximize as much angle as possible. Because, you know, I like getting wide angles. I don't really take the inside line that often. But, you know, to each their own. Everybody drifts different. Either way, though, this tune is going to be able to handle any style style uh, you throw at it. Guarantee. Got the alignment here. I would uh, recommend, you know, if you do feel like you're getting too much angle, you can just lower the Ackerman angle. But if you want to get more angle, then definitely increase it. I feel like 65% is a pretty good base number to start with for whatever build you're doing. And then you can just make tweaks as uh, you're testing your car. For the wheels, I got 17 inch rims on here. A little bit smaller than normal, but you know, this is a small car, so you don't really need big rims, I don't think. Tire width, I bumped up the rears just a little bit more. You could adjust that if you wanted to, but I went with a uh, thinner kind of tire look. Pressure, I left the same at 200. And of course, you know, I've got 90s on this build, but you can put 100s on this if you want to, it's no big deal. You may have to adjust maybe some things, maybe in the suspension, but probably not really. More so probably the power for your car. And we'll get into that in a second here. And again, I got 30% uh, tire profile. So I do have thinner tires on this build. For the brakes, I went pretty low for the uh, brake torque here. Just because I do kind of use my brakes a little bit more when I'm transitioning. And when I'm getting really close to somebody's door, I do kind of go on the brakes just a little bit. Not like really hard. Just like light tapping, that way I can maintain close proximity. For the engine, I'm running 403 horsepower. It doesn't have to be exact, it can be lower, it could be higher if you want. But I feel for this build, you know, 400 horsepower is actually really good for this car. You know, it's, it's quick enough to keep up with most cars, but you can also drift a little bit slower. In case, you know, you find yourself in a slower tandem lobby. But, you know, this car can pretty much do everything, man. And of course, you guys uh, can make some tweaks and adjustments if you want. Transmission is pretty straightforward. I just, uh, as you saw, I just, I don't know why the game puts it onto uh, open, but I have a spool differential right now. If you want, you could possibly use the, the viscous one, limited slip. But lately, I've been using the spool. I feel like there's more power generated in the rear wheels and uh, the tandems feel really good and gears one two and three that's gonna probably be the main gears you'll be in you could use all the gears but definitely one to three are going to be the go-to gears for that so that's going to be it for the setup here we're going to go quickly over to the workshop i have the code for you guys if the code doesn't work let me know and i will put a new code in the comments for you guys so we got the code right here bottom right 501 eight five two five nine four nine zero nine put that code in if it doesn't work again just let me know and i'll make a new one for you guys so punch that in test it out let me know what you think if you guys do enjoy the tune definitely smash the like button share with a friend who uh, you think needs help and you know if you're new to the channel definitely uh, subscribe you know i'm going to be dumping out more car x drift tune videos more live streams you know, I stream Car X and so many other games, mostly Car X right now, but as always, you know, I will always continue to add more games to the streams, to the uh, channels. I'll make other videos and stuff. 
And uh, if you guys want to request anything else, other uh, types of videos, whether it's a car wrecks video or something else, let me know, man. And I'll be sure to make it happen. So that's it for this one. Up next, we got some drift clips. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.